Here we will study about the equation of a line in case of a normal form. Normal form or perpendicular form. Now, we have this red line here. First quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, fourth quadrant. In whatever quadrant it falls. All we know here is distance of this line from the origin. This is the distance here. Since this is the distance, this would be 90 degrees. And second thing we know is the angle which this normal or perpendicular makes with the positive direction of x axis. This is x axis, this is y axis. This is the positive direction. Let's take it as theta. In case of second quadrant, this will again be 90 degrees. This will be my theta. Third quadrant, this will be my theta. Fourth quadrant, this will be my theta. Positive direction of x-axis. Now, the concept here or the equation here for the normal form of line will remain same in any of these four conditions. Line falls into first quadrant, second quadrant, third or fourth. In any of these cases, the equation of the line will remain same. Now, let's try to study what would be the equation of the line in case of normal form. I am taking up this case. You can try with other cases also, other quadrant also. Result will remain same. Now, let's take this point as A. This is origin O. Let's draw a perpendicular. This perpendicular means 90 degrees. Let's name it as M. And this is the distance OA, which is say P. So what information I have is what is the value of P and what is the value of this angle. These two information I have and I need to know what would be the equation of this line. This is what we call normal form or perpendicular form. I see if I need to find out what would be the coordinates of point A. If I write the value of cos theta here, this would be OM over P. Adjacent over hypotenuse. In this case, OM would be equal to P cos theta. If I write here value of sin theta, this would be AM over P opposite over hypotenuse. In this case, AM will be equal to P sin theta. Now you see value of OM here is P cos theta. Value of AM here is P sin theta. Now you see point of coordinates for point A would be, so this would be P cos theta comma P sin theta. Point of coordinates X and Y. Here X is this OM which is P cos theta. Y is this height which is p sin theta, so x comma y. Now, p is the distance of this line from the origin. p is obviously be the perpendicular. In that case, we know that if two non-vertical lines are cutting each other at 90 degrees angle, multiplication of their slope will be negative 1. It means, if I write slope of L, this line, into slope of OA will be equal to negative 1 or if I write slope of L will be equal to 1 over slope of OA negative. Slope of OA would be tan theta. I will write 1 over tan theta which is negative cos theta over sin theta. In this line L, we know one of the points which is A and we know the slope also. In that case, I can use point slope form equation. This here, I know one of the points and the slope. Why I need to know? Why O would be P sin theta. 
sin theta. Slope is negative cos theta over sin theta. So I'll write cos theta over sin theta negative into x. I need to know x o would be p cos theta. So this comes to y sin theta plus x cos theta equals to p or x cos theta plus y sin theta is equal to p. So in case of normal form, the equation of the line would be x cos theta plus y sin theta equals to p. I write it as where p is this distance. Alright.